Electric Boogaloo. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. Hope y'all are doing great. I am doing okay. I uh, decided to hit the go live button a little bit early. So I'm just sitting here waiting um, till nine o'clock. If no one shows up, then you know it'll be the same as if people were here. Kind of. Um, I think. Hi, Chris. How you doing today? Hi, Heather. Good morning. Oh, thank you. It's nine o'clock, so let's get started. Good morning. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I am in a lot of discomfort, but we're going to get through this together. Um, so just a quick little thing. Sunday, you know, it was Eastern. I was supposed to come on and hang out with y'all, but my son's hair needed combing and, you know, um, I have to put my family first. And so I did his hair and I finished his hair around noon time. And so from me sitting in that position for X amount of time, my um, lumbar hurts. I have musculoskeletal issues anyway. Needless to say, I have pain right now. So um, yeah, I'm in a lot of discomfort. I won't say it's pain, but it hurts to move. It hurts to do certain things. So yeah. Um, also, for some reason, she, I can't get this lighting right. And I, today, you, you know what? This week, today is Tuesday. This week is kicking your friend's butt already. But you know, we're going to be all right. It could be worse, right? I always tell myself that, like, it could be worse. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? Hopefully well. Today, we're going to have some fun, y'all. We're going to have some fun. And once I get this lighting right, I need to just... uh. I got the light that I I bought. I bought a new light, right? A new light because I needed it, a new light. I didn't need a new light. This light just is, it has a gooseneck and the neck is real goosey. It's like a chicken once you wrung its neck. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to put my hand over the camera real quick. And when I come back, we'll have a project. No, I'm joking. I just need to get it focused. It feels like it's out of focus. So there we go. Um Oh, that's very good to hear. That's okay. You know what? I um, I can't complain. I woke up this morning. God has blessed me to wake up another day and cause and wreak and cause havoc for everybody. So, yeah, I have a magic lamp. <laughs> it's a gooseneck. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing today, I am working on a big secret for y'all. I think I'm going to start it very soon, and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, if not, you know, it's, it, it, it'll be out there, but we have some things I know, Heather, and I want to say, Samara had asked me this question and I pulled up a picture cause that was a quick go-to, but this is what a rocker block is. And I thought we would use these today only because I want to use this cute little, um, flower stamp. This is from Hero Arts Greetings. If you go to store, store, Joanne Fabric, you'll see that they have, all, I think all of their stamps currently are Hero Arts with the exception of a few. You can go online and get different stamps from different stamp companies, but the in-store are these. And you all know that I like coloring and I am in a not so yay mood today or this week. So um, coloring will be my thing for a couple of a while um but i wanted to just make something really quick i pulled out some stuff so flowers are one thing because i have that um you know that every three weeks well once a month situation where i do car swaps and i think our background supposed to be a stamp but then i was like you know what let's play with this bad boy right i i don't know who this is from i got this from I'm going to lie right now and say I can't really remember who it was from. I think it's from Nick's Crafty Corner. Oh, thanks. I need it. 
Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it says SD. Is this Sheena Douglas Flutter by Collection? I think this is. I think I think this is a Crafter's Companion situation. I'm not sure, but I thought it'd be really fun to stamp out some images. And then I pulled out this thing from my mind's eye. I want to say I bought this myself. Yeah, this one at prices was good still. Five dollars. You got two dies and all these cute little stamps. And apparently I'm on motion in tr and transportation mode too. You know, we did a few things with that. Um Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. Plant kindness, love. I just need to surround my mental with some positivity. But I want to make a little book. We haven't made a book in a while. So I pulled out these little stickers. I think I got these in a D-stash. Yeah, I think I got these in a D-stash. So we're going to pull out these little stickers. Make some, um, a flower book real quick. And that's why I got this out. And I, because I don't think my little small stamp block will will work on it, so that's why I pulled out the rocker blocks. Um, I need to. I've been going through some of my stuff, not like, woo, I'm going through all my junk and getting rid of it. More so like, oh yeah, I got a lot of crap I need to go through and get rid of. And then I had bought this paper pad. It's not a paper pad. It's uh Michael's hot buy paper pad that I got for a buck from the craft store where I do my card exchanges. And it's not a craft store. It's not a craft store. It is a craft mall. People sell their handmade crafts. They sell other crafts. But it was some flowers in here. And I was like, ooh, I want to do this. I also thought I pulled out one more thing, but I don't I don't see it. I want to make some cards. I haven't made like cards with y'all in a while. And I always feel like we need to do a project, right? We need to complete a project. I even went on to uh, Pinterest today. And I was, look, let me show y'all something. This is how my Pinterest looks when I first open it up. Hold on, I pressed the wrong button. Right. Go home. Pinterest is... This is what happens because I played a Sims video game. So I get Sims images and then I get these. So Pinterest is telling me that I need to color. And then I've been trying to find some card sketches, right? Because I really want to do... Um, what I want, what I'm trying to do is mentally prepare for the summer and I plan on leaving um, for a little while to try and go somewhere and do some things, but I want to have all the stuff already ready. So I've been looking at this and these cards. The one thing that I have a problem with is not so much the sketch, but I would like to also see a completed project if that makes any sense. I just feel like that would be a lot easier for me. So I went online and look what came up, y'all. Flowers. And then they have this template. I don't know what this template is at, okay? Frill flower template. Where is it? This one right here. The frill flower template. I know for a fact that, um, what's the name of that store? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Tuesday morning used to sell them, but I don't, I haven't seen them lately. So anyway, what I thought we would do is do a few random projects. We'll do the stamping kind of last because that's a little bit more, but look how pretty this paper is, right? And this is a eight, this is a 12 by 12. That's now a six by six, I believe. My mat will not go back flat, y'all. It will not go back flat. So... I looked up online and Walmart has some um, for ten seventy four. I might get that. I also went to the Dollar Tree and I was like, I can just get. Um, I'll show you. It's we'll do it together in case the other one. I think we'll do that first. Um, I think I have a, a better idea because I really don't use these measurements that much. Um, and then I do use them. Like I just did that, but I just need a mat to protect my little desk and these teapots so i'm going to pull out the ugly ones real quick the ones that i think are not that attractive and what we're going to do is i think we're going to just make we're going to cut this up some and we're going to make a quick a few cards look this is so pretty this would go good for my christmas cards because a lot of the momenta have those on the background but we're going to do that and then this would be cute in a little book um so we're going to pull these out see so you can tell that they cut the paper down 12 by 12 and they cut it down probably about seven, eight sheets of paper. They cut down and they're selling for a dollar. Yeah. And this one says happiness. 
and these are some postcards. Now this is, I would say this was ruined um, because they could have just cut these down properly and they sold these as pieces, but they didn't. I mean, it's okay. I think a lot of crafters probably have a postcard stamp situation already in their life. And like this door is ugly. I mean, it's a door, you know, it's a door probably a beautiful door in real life but it's not very cute for crafting and then she cut this up and this could have been in my opinion done a little bit better but we're going to use these as background pieces on our cards and then we'll put this back in I swear I can sit something down and then it just disappears in like seconds. I'm like, what in the world? I just, I know I had it. <laughs> yeah. Also, you know, I was talking to Chris on the phone because she's close to me in real life. Um, we live minutes away from each other. Our kids go to the same school. Our kids brought us together, right? We don't, we wouldn't have known each other other any other way. Um, I'm a hundred percent sure of that. And I was telling her that I was going to get me a drink this morning. I don't normally drink, but, um, it, it sounded like a really good idea. And she was like, yeah, we can have some tipsy crafting. <laughs> I had, I had pineapple soda, nothing extra. I promise. Um, Nice colors could look at paper all day. I hate when you lose the yes, ma'am. That's a, I don't understand that part at all. At all. So, I'm thinking if we stamp this out, right? We're gonna make a big card. I've never made an eight by a six by six card on purpose, but maybe twice. And I was thinking if we stamp this out, right. We could even make this a, um, is this four by four? We could make a four by four. I don't know. But I want to I want to try to keep the papers as is. I don't want to destroy them just because I can't work with them. But I'm thinking we're going to stamp these a few times. And we'll color them up really quickly and stamp them out. Yeah, I like looking at paper. I, you know what I haven't been doing, though? to be you know like oh i haven't been to michael's shopping like i went to michael's but i didn't like go and out of my way to go to michael's normally i would make a trip to michael's to see what they have but i haven't been doing it lately i have so many projects here that i could work on like i was going to do crocheting today and i was like no let's do this today like i feel like once you get to that point you need to stop shopping for a little bit just so just a small amount of time until you get out of that mindset of I have too much stuff. So I've never used a rock -a block It seems pretty simple. You put the stamp on and you roll it back and forth and it, it just works here. Simply adhere your unmounted rubber stamp to the rock -a block We recommend using our revolution stickers real quick. They want to sell some more. Ink up the stamp with light tapping and then place the mount stamp down on the stamping surface resting on the bottom edge and um, depth gauge and then rock the stamp forward and lift back up from the paper so we're going to see how this works out for us they were giving these away practically um it was like a bundle situation you buy something and you get these well i guess they didn't like that i said they were giving these away practically and it's just some acrylic it's not i thought it was going to be like foam or something it's not foam I've been crocheting some dish rags for my new camper. Oh, that sounds nice, Sherry. So um, do you mind sharing a little bit about your camper? I have questions. So this summer, I was like, I want to get an RV. Is that what I want? I want to get an RV and um, kind of travel the countryside a little bit. And um, I've been looking into rentals of it the kind i want though is the kind that you can do stuff while in motion not so much um hitch a trailer type of thing i'm trying to pull this off just so y'all know it's not working so um yeah that's what i've been thinking about doing and i don't want to be on the road like for forever i just want to kind of 
travel to go somewhere, hang out, um, do a few stops on the way, back, and then be done with it. Get it out of my system. You know, sometimes you got to get stuff out of your system. Um, so you can say I did it. I bought a trailer 36 feet. I have 27, but it was too small. Oh, okay. So you don't have to answer this either. Do you live on it or do you just do and then do you stay in a, a house or do you live there? I had a coworker who lived in a trailer. Um, he was a, a whole different kind of person, though. He was very interesting see i thought this was gonna be a little bit different than this but we're gonna see if it work out because if it does yay if not okay so i'm gonna use this hybrid ink i've been saying which inks that i'm using because i want to test them out and find many winnies are a great little rv i have to look that in look that up um i've been trying to test them out because you know my go-to is of course always the Ranger or Carvel ink. The thing is, when I use Copic markers, the alcohol markers, it smudges. When I use the Spectrum Noir markers with this, it doesn't. And when I use other inks, you know, my new favorite is the uh, what is it? This Versify and Clear, it doesn't smudge either. But this one has been hit and miss with me for a little bit on certain ones. Rubber stamps, it does great. Clear stamps, I have had a issue with it. And I had an issue with my uh, Julie Nutting. Oh, they said tap, tap, tap. I had an issue with the Julie Nutting one as well. So I just want to see because if I can find a good ink that can do most of it. And I'm, I'm leaning more towards the pigment ink, I think. I think that's what I like for my projects. I use it for camping at a state park, but I'm trying a seasonal site this year. So I have toilet hookups. Oh, nice. Yeah. He had he rented a camp, a, tr a trailer or a camp spot. And like every three months, he had to change from, you know, like one spot to the next spot. I found it very odd that he would do that, but more and more I found out about him he was very much into money like trying to get money save money and all those things because he had other things going on in his life so I was like okay no judgment for me you're still weird but okay all right did y'all see how quick that was the park requires you move every 10 oh okay every 10 days or 10 months look at that that was smooth. This is my first time ever stamping. I think this is a new stamp. Oh my goodness. Great ink. Except for this one spot. That probably was me. More so. Oh. Oh. Nice. This is nice. Okay, 10 days. Yeah. We won't be going out that long. We'll probably only be going out like a week of that. If we go at all. Um, I'm going to use this one, the gray one as well i found a red one i haven't pulled it out because i've been trying to experiment i wanted to do some flowers today but i was like are they tired of me doing flowers i'm not tired of me doing flowers i think this park by us requires a hundred oh see yeah i struggle with ink too it always bleeds on my mind. exactly so um we don't have no napkins we don't have any cleaner we're gonna just use a regular paper towel over here That works so good, y'all. But I have to admit, not that I would ever hate on Crafters Companion. They have some really good products and inks and things like that. I mean, stamps and things. Um, except for that dang on my midi doesn't work. Um, it's broken. And they're supposed to be sending me something. And of course, it's on a slow carrier. Thank you so much. Dexterior Frosty, Dexterious Frosty, how are you doing today? And are you regular Frosty and you change your name or are you a different Frosty? Our state parks don't want full-time people. I don't understand because we are the ones that pay to keep them open. You know, I think why they have it like that is because they don't want... Um, you to quote unquote take a spot from a 
visiting person because tourist money. Oh my goodness. Listen. I don't know what's revolutionary. This butterfly, this rock block this ink. I love it all. Let's go ahead and um do another stamp. I do like this image better. This is gray though. We did do it in gray, so I can't, you know. Can't really say. And now we're gonna do it in blue. I'm doing these colors all wrong. I should have did the lightest color to the darker color. It's definitely primed now. Oh my goodness, y'all. Get your rock a block. <laughs> I'm so nervous that it's gonna be wrong. I want to rock it back and forth, but mm, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. We got a little bit right here. This blue is, um, it has some extra ink on it for some reason. I hear a lot of people swear by them. With the rocker blocks, they are great. Oh, that one didn't come out good. It didn't come out good because my mat sucks. That's why. Let's go ahead and re-ink it. My mat has a bubble right there. I should have moved it over, but no. I just got so excited. Yeah, they're pretty decent. I like it. You know, whenever you work for a company, you can sell a product, right? So I'm always skeptical about companies that are selling their products so easy peasy. And then when I use it, I'm like, oh, they didn't lie to me. Nice. Nice. All right, so that is that. We're going to sit this to the side. Hopefully, I can find it in five minutes. We'll see. And now we're going to go ahead and just do a light coloring on this one. I'm going to move this out the way. All right. I really hate that I ruined my mat. Not that this mat is amazing and it, and it could do no wrong. I just hate that I ruined the mat. So we're going to do... I wish I had stamped this out on watercolor paper. I have been dying to do some watercoloring. Because you know I'm such a fabulous watercolorist. Not even close to that statement. I um, I just like making messes i suppose all right we're gonna take uh i think we're gonna try two purples a yellow and a pink oh this is purple too grape is definitely purple all right so turn your head heather don't look they look fantastic thank you so much my arm is throbbing look like this is supposed to be early great this does not look early anything it looked like it's late if, if you ask me i mean no one did but all right let's do with this one and we're gonna make the this part blue because you know i like blue So apparently, it was an accident. It's not funny at all. It was an accident going on the road that I need to get on to take my child to school. <sighs> very stressful. It was a very stressful morning. The last couple of mornings have not been good mornings. You know, it's always something that's supposed to... Try your patience. Try your um, mental. I want really, I was really miffed with crafting campaign with the Academy of Color Lunch. They said crafting with Sarah. She joined one class and they didn't have half the videos. They promised. Very disappointed. Listen, Sherry. I... <clears throat> Don't like doing classes like that. So I never, okay, we friends, we friends, right? I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a secret. Thank you so much, Heather. Um, 
this butterfly is, you know, I like, I like butterflies. I like huge ones. I have a huge monarch butterfly, butterfly from Stampin' Up that one of the ladies gave to me. Um, it's so pretty. It's, um, uh, what's the word when they don't, they take it off the market. They don't sell it anymore. That word retired, retired. And I was looking for that. It's a few stamps that I've been looking for. Um, from Crafter's Companion, I mean, from Stampin' Up, and I've been able to find a few of them. Some of them are not very nicely priced, though. Um, so with, with Crafter's Companion, I like Crafter's Companion because I feel like they're affordable products and they're good quality. But I have a problem with their marker line. Yes, discontinued, discontinued, retired. I have a problem with their marker line because they come out with the same markers rehashing different packaging. Like you went from selling a whole marker to a tri-blend marker, which you get three markers for one. And that bothers me. I'm one of those people that I like to count my pennies because I want to, I want to buy stuff for a penny. Um, so I don't want to buy stuff for a penny and you make it cost five pennies for half of this, I just find that that's very uh, disrespectful to my my coin. And I don't want, I don't want no parts of it. So when they came out with the Crafters Companion uh, Spectrum Noir brand, and then they came out with the next brand, and then they came out with the next brand, they're all the same markers, just repackaged, right? Renamed, because I have some Spectrum Noir markers that I don't have at my desk, because I can't seem to, oh, I got them, I do have them. So this is the Spectrum Noir marker, the first set, right? And they have a bevel and a bullet nib. And they work fine. I got these from Hobby Lobby or either Joanne Fabric because they had them on clearance for like 5 or $6. And then I have these right here that are the quote-unquote classics. But these and these are definitely the same markers. Um, let's see. Because these came out in 2013, and then the quote-unquote classics came out in 2019. They just repackaged them, right? So this is Spectrum New R. Nothing different about it at all. Nothing at all, just the packaging. This is more economical and feasible. This one is a waste of plastic and... Um, thing and you can still eat a much easier so then you take these out can i open this these are brand new anyway you can tell that this is not the same size um, marker right because the all the packaging is in here so they are roughly about the same size i wish i had a open pack i don't want to destroy these and then they came out with a different line the Illustrator, which is my favorite one because it, it has a better motion for coloring. Um, yeah, the blend. So, and that's, a th I don't really care for their blending tools, actually. Um, I like the, I like these, the Tim Holtz one or Ranger ones. The problem with the Ranger ones is they started changing the pad formula on it. Uh-oh. The path formula. And I do have a few of the Spectrum Noir ones, because they, but they're more spongy, and I don't like the sponginess. Um, and this plastic comes up. But the you can tell that whoever was working on it was like, this may cost too much money, maybe, and that's why they did it. I don't really know the real reason behind it, but they did change the formula on the sponges, or they just got a different brand. So I, it's a few things that I think... I see what you're doing. You know, I see I see that you're trying to get out money and I don't really care for that in that regard. So when they came out with all those different marker lines, the same marker just repackaged. I I didn't I don't um I don't prescribe to that kind of nonsense. I just didn't get it. Just like when um well, it's a few companies that rebranded their packaging, they rechanged the package like Tim Holtz uh the Bagavon, right? The Bagavon 2. They changed it from being dirty brown to classic gray and black. It's the same thing. They just rechanged they changed it like the sidekick. You remember the Sizzix sidekick, that little tiny sidekick with the little small dies that you put through the pack? 
they changed it. It used to be black and red. That's when the kick, the big kick was out and all that. So it was that little companion that had different sizes. And Tim Holtz is a a craft household name. If you if you're a craft and you don't know Tim Holtz, then what are you crafting? Like they he sells fabric. He sells all kinds of nonsense for us to go gaga over. So um, they just said, he, you know, he's a selling face right now. And then with Sizzik and those lawsuits that they were having, maybe they just needed a, a fresh old face. I'm not saying he's old, but, you know, Tim kind of stays neutral in a lot of that stuff because he doesn't sell anything. He makes products and the companies that he's partnered with sells the stuff. If they choose to sell dyes, then they'll do dyes. If they choose to just do stamps, they'll do stamps because Sizzix doesn't own the stamps. That is um, Stampers Anonymous, right? So that's how he stays out of there. He has his hand in like three or four of them. I feel the same way. I like that yellow. Yeah, um, it is called Acacia. It's Y04 that writing ain't going to come through. So I try, you know, I try to be very mindful of when I buy certain things. Like if you ever go to, the, and that's what I was telling people when Hobby Lobby was doing those clearance sales. That was before, you know, we got big on haul videos and things like that. Hobby Lobby has always had those clearance sales. Because every three months is a new season. Like they're selling the, the stuff that's outdated. And I always say this, Hobby Lobby only has three or four things on hand anyway. So it's not like all of us will ever be able to get all the stuff they sell. Because they don't keep a, a huge market of stuff in their supply. They keep a small market of stuff in their supply. But I just don't like to, I don't like that they're trying to dupe us like they, like, I like, and this is what I'll tell you, I do like a good sale. I will buy a good sale because I like grab bags. So, you know, Crafters Companion, they have those grab bags and they have the U.S. warehouse market, blah, blah, blah. You're just selling the overstock. And it's better to call it a clearance warehouse than the overstock warehouse sale because no one wants to know that you overstock product. Maybe they thought they were going to sell something through HSN and it wasn't as a big of a, um, a big of a, a seller as they thought it was going to be. And so they have to get rid of that crap to bring in a new crap, you know, cause they already probably have their Christmas stuff done. If not, they're almost done with it. Cause they have to make sure that they have a lot of stuff in, in supply. So I just find it very interesting how they think they're going to dupe us. I got, I hope I get to enjoy the next big hobby live clearance. Let's see what April, May, probably June after the summer sale, we'll be going into the fall. So you just got to keep an eye out on it. If you're going to be living close to a Hobby Lobby, you know, roll up in there. Sometimes I just go into Hobby Lobby and they have a clearance sale. And I'm like, ooh, what can I get? We're going to try this green out because I feel like green will not, not this green. Uh, I want to, I want a lighter green, I think. And, and you know, what, what crafter, what deal, deal hunter finder doesn't like a good sale, like a good deal. So no no craft is gonna pass down pass up a a, a good deal like they were selling the Copics what a dollar ninety nine come on now two dollars versus I said green and pulled the blue out I know I know I'm biased I'm biased I apologize to the green not really hmm maybe I need something that's an odd color to pull it in let's try this peach. Yep. I I think I partake, I try to partake in the Hobby Lobby clearances because I'm always looking for those stamps. They always have new stamps come out and I'm like, ooh, I want that. But I don't want to pay that price for it unless I really, 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 really want it. But they have brought their prices down some kind of way. Because, you know, they don't do that 40% off anymore. But I bought something at full price and I was a little bit upset because it was still cheaper at the at the full price at Hobby Lobby versus a half off coupon at Joanne or Michaels. And I was like, this is some nonsense. I really didn't care for that too much. You know, when I sat down in my desk, I was like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got that, I got that. I don't know. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know if I have my... 
I die cutting machine at the desk. I mean, I could fussy cut this out, but why when you have a fantastic die, right, darlings? This die is going to, oh, and it's going to be giving us so much none border. I love that. I remember Joanne Fabric tried to do a sale. <laughs> it was so comical. Because let's just say they had something that cost $10. Their sale was like $9.90. <laughs> I was like, this is not a sale, Joanne. This is not a sale, honey. You're not going to sell. You might as well keep the regular sticker price. Because you could do better with a coupon, you know? I remember back in the day, let me know if y'all remember this, Michaels. They used to have coupons. No, they used to have like green and red, green and orange tag, half off of the half off price. Like whatever the sale was, it was an additional half off of a green tag or a whatever, whatever color tag it was that they would pick to be discounted. They haven't did that in a while. And then I remember when my mom was still here, we had got some Michaels bags, the, the um, grab bags for two bucks. Oh my goodness. Y'all remember them two buck grab bags? Now they were $7. They have different prices on them. I think it's five and seven now. I haven't got a good grab bag in a minute. The last grab bag I got was a bunch of junk. Like literally it was St. Patrick's Day junk in it. The last, what, two years ago I think I got one? No. Was it two years ago? It was... The beginning of the pandemic, maybe? I think. I messed up right here. I didn't get all of this. Good morning, Barry. How you doing today? I'm only buying consumers because I have 600 stamp sets. Sherry. We are kindred spirits, darling. I'm going to be getting rid of some of my stamps because I don't use them. And they're in the way. Because I need to buy more stamps, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Barry Crafter. How you doing today? Huh? How you doing? I know how you doing. I just wrote you right. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to make sure this little butterfly is symmetrical. Because I've seen a lot of butterflies with a lot of colors, but I've never seen them kind of be like, I don't know. I feel like whenever they're making this in their cocoon, it's all, they're painting it the same color, I guess. I don't know. But this little butterfly is going to be different. Give me one second, please. I just had a freak my freak moment. I have a few appointments messages and I was like, do I have a doctor's appointment today at 11 o'clock, at 9 o'clock? Whew, I don't. Okay, let's keep coloring. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I did. I had already verified that. I didn't. She ain't been, Sherry, she ain't been busy. You know what she been doing? Collecting bounties. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not joking. Last time she left us for Johnny. Remember that, Sherry? Oh, now it's the butcher. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see me coloring, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm debating whether I want to take a nap when I finish this show. Like when we finish hanging out today. Or if I want to be an adult, a proper adult and do some adulting in the house and run. I have a few errands I need to run.
Hi, Tony. How you doing today? Tony, I tried that. Um, heat gun thing. It didn't work for me. My mat is still crooked. I probably didn't do it right. All right, so we're going to pick another color. Did everyone have a good weekend? My weekend was okay. Could always have been, you know, worse. And it could always have been better. We're going to go with a muted kind of earthy color. Brown. We're going to do the brown. So I feel like, oh, no, 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 no. Hmm. I think we're going to go with a bolder color. Let's try this yellow right here. It's called CT3. Whatever that means. Yeah. So I have learned that the rock -a block is pretty good, y'all. It's supposed to be 60 here today and snow again at the end of the week. Oh, no. We got another foot of snow. So that was a week. Oh, my goodness. Ah, and I'm over here complaining. Well, I'm not complaining about the rain. I'm just saying the ground is wet. But I hope you all stay warm. I don't want to wish this on us here. But it would be nice if it was cooler versus hot. I'm not saying, you know, snow, though. I'm not saying that at all. But it would be cool. It would be nice if it was cooler. If it could be cooler less than... Last week it was, um, I'm in Texas. Um, last week, I think it was, it got up to 90 degrees in one, on one day. And then the next day it was 70. And the next day it was like a, a cold front. It was cold and windy. Like, I'm not sure what's going on with the weather. But if we can get cooler days, I'm okay with that. I know that a lot of people are like, no keep it hot i like these colors together this is a good color combination oh my goodness i need to get up i bought i'm gonna try these out i bought these markers from the dollar tree i don't know how they're gonna work it's starting to feel like spring here in boise idaho oh is it nice yeah april is um spring yeah yeah i think april is spring and then we got summer yeah, June, February, March, April, May, June. So June, July, August is summer. They're called glitter markers. And I feel like they um, could be a version of the glitter pins. I want to try it out, though. We'll see. We'll do it on this one. Because this uh, side didn't get stamped out that good. And then I messed up right there. So we'll see. Because my mat is wavy. Hey, wavy, wavy, wavy. We may not. Because I don't even know. Okay, I think I see the bag yet. Tomorrow I have to take the car to the shop to get it looked at. And I went there yesterday. So I wasted gas. I hate wasting gas. I went there yesterday to, to get my oil changed and was like, yeah, I got this light on. And the guy was like, oh, no, that's another thing. You got to come and do that. You can leave your car here today and get it done. Like, leave your car here, not let it get checked out, but leave your car here. And I was like, can I just come back another day? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. One day you want to come back. And then he was cracking jokes on me because I was like, I called the big roommate, but I didn't call it the big roommate in front of him. He's like, let that man sleep. I was like, no. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I said, do you let your wife sleep in? He was like, yes. I was like, but does she let you sleep in? He was like, no. <laughs> you could color that. Left when it put a uh, sentiment. Oh, I could, couldn't I? I was thinking of something else, but that might work too. I was thinking of just using this as a flat piece and have this one on top in flight. So you won't really need to see this wing because we could just draw the line in right here. And you know how I do like a blanket wash color of it. Oh, excuse me one second, please. I had forgot what I was doing.
All right, so um, before I show you that, I didn't get these last year when they had them, but I got these this year. And I feel like it could have been a waste of money, um, but for what I think I want to do with them, I will see right. So I got four. I think I got four of them because I want to turn these into earrings, right? So like right here, we can take those. And I have some other colored wood balls to make this a pair of earrings. And then this could be a pair of earrings. And then I was thinking that this could be, so it could be earrings and necklace. And we can just make those into a necklace on um, some type of cording, right? I haven't cut it apart yet to see, but I thought that would be really cool. And then... I got these because I want to make this into a book. So I want to take card paper, card paper, card stock, fold and have it fold in half. And you have this on your side. Like you've seen those little books where you can have, um, you have a big notebook, a notepad. You have these little tabs right here in this. So I think that if I was to take eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and make it into a book with a thing, Oh, you're doing a folio right now. That's what they're called. So, yeah, I, I want to do that. Yeah, you think it'd be good, Heather, to do to do those as earrings? Yeah, that's what I I want to try. And then I got these, and I was like, oh, this is this is such a waste of money, such a waste of money. Um, because you know I I don't support the Dollar Trees Dollar Twenty Five move that they did because when the Dollar Tree increased their prices all the other stores seemed like they was like oh Dollar Tree went up let us go up like the 99 cents only store is a dollar 99 cents now it's not really um 99 cents anymore so I you know I had an issue with that but I was like okay these markers could be really cool because you know some of the other markers that are more expensive brand the ones with the pump costs a lot more and it says vibrant metallic ink with glitter um decorate paper cards and more so i think we're going to try this purple and orange and i don't know who inc is like i'm not sure what company that is if it's only a dollar tree company where well, it says trademark a peach tree plaything so i would have to look this up it says it's made in china let's see and doesn't have a u.s spot besides Dollar Tree, so we'll see if they work or not. The good thing is, some things you can take back to the store and get a, a exchange, not a refund. I think I would have been happy if it was three in here, because then I could say they were X amount of dollars apart. So yeah, they have the same. They have the same setup, which is pictures, right? To write it, push up and down. Okay, so let's see. You can see the ink is sliding down. I was just looking to see if they had um, in, a real instruction because they didn't have it on the back. Oh, they do. Oh, it says shake. Oh, I didn't shake. Oh, shoot. Let me shake. Didn't push and draw. I didn't do that. Only in Alaska till the end of May. Okay, we're moving to Virginia in the beginning of June. Uh, is it a Hobby Lobby? It is a Hobby Lobby in Virginia. So that's good. So shake, push, draw. We're going to shake. We're going to push, then shake. We did it wrong. And now we're going to color. Ooh. It's um very wet. Very wet. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. And the point is not the best. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. I don't know about this, y'all. We're going to work it out, though. We're going to make it work. 
gonna make it work. I think if it had much of more of a point versus this nib like that, it would be better. Am I upset that I'm using my finger to do this? No, it could have been better if I had did it right, but I doubt it. This is definitely a give to your kids type of marker. I could not even imagine packing my craft room to the move. No, sir. Very beautiful, I've heard. That is it, Sherry, but we will make it a great adventure, especially given going through Canada. Are you driving? You're going to drive all your stuff? Canada, Virginia. Hmm. You could do it. I drove from Connecticut to Texas, so. In three vehicles. With nightmares. <laughs> it was a crazy thing. I think you can do it. But dang, that's a long trip. Are y'all, um, not being nosy. Are y'all staying in hotels? Are you doing a camper trailer situation? I don't think you need a passport for Can Canada. I could be wrong. As an American, I don't I didn't think you needed a Canadian a passport. But I could be wrong. Look, this is some nice shimmer. This was not the intent. Not the intent at all. I mean, we're doing it. We're sticking to it, right? We're going to see this thing out. So what's one craft project that you all, like, what's your go-to project? Besides um, coloring, like, what's your go-to project? What's the thing that you're like, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to craft this today. Let's go ahead and make sure this is rubbed over some more. This is not a very good marker. Now, I wonder if I... If I was adventurous, I could change this nib to something a little bit more. I probably could pour this into a paint pen. But I'm not going to do that. Good morning, Samara. How you doing? Hopefully well. Does that give glitter in it? Does that have glitter in it? Yeah. But it's... It's not loose. Scrapbooking, twelve by twelve pages. So that's what that's your go-to thing. I think, aside from coloring, um, my go-to would probably be card making, stamping, and coloring cards. I remember when we used to do those tag videos and you tag a person and then, you know, they tell you their craft secrets or like their real name and things like that. Um, or they'll ask you like, what's your favorite supplies? My favorite craft supply are the scissors. <laughs> like that's my guilty pleasure. Making embellishments. I could see that for you, Liz. Um, you do so well at it. I could, uh, I could see multiple things for you. You are a very crafty lady, but I'm perfect for junk journals. Junk journals, I like doing cards and folios. Yes, diamond painting. 
if that's something you can yeah that's a, definitely a craft shoot i'm going to be doing a diamond painting soon um i got it in some mail from samara it's sitting over there like are you going to do me now are you going to do me now um i'm going to be i'm going to tell y'all i'm going to tell y'all a secret i'm going to be doing a lot of videos soon they're going to be pre-recorded videos and they're going to be um it's going to be a lot of them they're going to be like five to ten minute videos and i hope that you'll join me they're going to be I'm going to try to make sure that they're all at the same time and they'll probably be late in the afternoon so they don't interfere with any of the collaborations that I have. I'm going to do this one over. They won't be long. Um, they'll be nonstop. And it's going to be a hundred of them. I add all what? I am old and I have a hard time seeing those diamond paintings. My granddaughter and I do those. Oh, that's nice. You know, I've been trying to find a good craft to do with my son. And I've decided that we won't be doing any together. Any crafting anytime soon, like, you know, detail craft because he don't listen. But I have a card table or a little cheapo table that I had got back in the day when I was having entertaining people and having guests over my house a long time ago uh, when I lived in Virginia I believe it was so it was a long time ago so it's a card table I'm going to pull that out probably the beginning of May and we're going to do puzzles and um, that'll be our time to you know just chit chat talk think discuss what we're going to do because i want him to be less into tv and more into personal thought and how you could do you know create stuff not so much sneak and get ice cream out the refrigerator or you know but what little kids normally do i want to try to get him out of that mindset now, I will tell you something. Besides this being a whole messy project, this color is beautiful. Look at that. It's beautiful. I do want to tell y'all, because I know all of y'all haven't been here. I used to take clear fingernail polish or different color fingernail polish and paint my projects and paint the projects a lot. Um, let's see. Um, uh, my kids love making sun catchers using different materials i use paint also and of course painting also um i like puzzles i had a card table next to mine and my grandson is eight and he likes anything with coloring and gluing gorgeous yeah so my son um we're gonna do i, I want to do a yellow black but we're gonna just go ahead and do this because i don't want to open the other ones up i'm still on the fence on about how i really feel about this um just because I probably need a water brush of some sort like to be um, able to rub that down. But then again, I don't want to turn this into like a wet project. So um, my son will do certain crafts um, easy peasy, but I want it to be more focused. I want it to, because I'm not artistic. His dad is more artistic. His dad said he could draw um, I'm more of a paper cutter. Let me try to make something out of this thing. Like my imagination goes there. So, and I want his, I just want, he's getting older, you know, and I want him to cultivate that and not on a daggone computer, not on a game. Ask me about superheroes. Cause I don't believe in um, superheroes. I believe in real life heroes, not cartoon superheroes. So. Because he's like, Mommy, who do you like best? You know, Iron Man or Incredible Hulk? And I'm like, none of them. <laughs> or I'll tell him, like, my one of my favorite, when I was a little girl, of course, Wonder Woman was, I mean, who, Wonder Woman's, who is, when was she not your superhero, right? If you think about it, as a little girl. It was only Wonder Woman. Who else did we have to look up to? Now we got more characters. She hate when I tell him that Disney Princess and yeah, 
just because my son is so gullible and I keep trying to tell him, like if a person walks up to you and say, Hey, you want some candy run or Hey, will you help me find my lost puppy, a cat run? So I keep trying to tell my friends, Chris, um, don't lie to him. Like don't make up those things because he believes that crap. Easy peasy. And so, you know, here I am fighting a battle because he likes superheroes. So he's going to believe that crap. Like if somebody walked up to him in a Spider-Man costume and said, come on, let's go. He'd probably go. I think a lot of little kids, to be fair, would go. But mm, I don't have to kill Spider-Man because he didn't, you know. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? I guess I was not like that. I'm more, I was more of a, Hi, little girl. Hi, behind your mama kind of person. And my mom, the more I think about it, that lady was crazy. So the person probably wouldn't want to try me, you know, try to do things to me because she'd probably destroy them. Um, and I don't want to tell up, tear up the city of San Antonio for nothing. For no reason at all. And could you imagine losing your child and have to explain to this the child's other half you lost your you lost their child because at that point it's no longer your child you lost my baby you lost my child what are you doing all kids are gullible that's um their innocence girl well i'm pouring outside it's pouring outside i got to get this going man wish me luck wait 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 hold on well it's pouring outside and i've got to get this going ma'am wish me luck I don't know what the heck we talking about. Good luck. All right. So we're going to use this die. Yes, because Samara is here. And so is Heather. And I don't have to fussy cut. <laughs> I don't have to fussy cut. <laughs> Whew, pay me no mind. Pay me no mind. All right. And hopefully it's just one pass, even though I'm not using a... <laughs> I'm not using a Crafter's Companion uh, die. This is some thin paper. Um, I mean, I'm not using a Crafter's Companion die cutting machine. That's what I meant. To, you know, that's what I meant. All right. I don't like the antennae, but this is good. This is good. What do y'all think? You know you really want to. I, I do. I'm going to find something to fussy cut just for you and Heather. <laughs> not even. Not even the lies I tell right now. If I don't have to fussy cut and this is quick and simple, we're going to do it like that. Mm -hmm. Now, why won't you go all right? Because uh, you need to cut this down some more. Cut this down some more. I don't know what we we haven't accomplished one thing yet y'all yet we colored we stamped if you had a laugh because that's what we said we was making today um laughs so heather and sherry and whoever else has had a rv you know moving um I want to do that, right? I really, really do. Um, I want to do. I didn't. I didn't grow up doing things in the summertime besides uh, going outside and play. Like we didn't go like to the Grand. You know, some people go to the Grand Canyon every year, one of the years, right? We don't. We didn't do that. I stayed home, watched TV, spent time with the family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This one is off a bit, right here. That's okay though. I'll trim it down. Um. You really want to fussy cut or else you... I hate fussy cutting, Chris, with a passion. 
Let me tell you why I do not like fussy cutting. Because I'm so meticulous about certain things that I feel like I would just continue to cut down and cut down and cut down and then I have to start all over. Like fussy cutting itself isn't the thing. My stigma around fussy cutting is the thing. I do think I'm going to go lay down after I finish this. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how great I feel in um, about 30, 40 minutes. We'll see. Because we still need to make a little book real quick. We'll see. All of that stuff. I've been trying to do more purples so I don't keep these things in my possession. Because, you know, y'all be liking purple. Like, it's amazing. You like fussy cutting so you can fuss about it. No, no, no. Usually I fuss cut to myself. I try not to fussy cut on camera because I don't like it. And all the time I'm fussy cutting, like these people say, this is therapeutic. How? How? I'm I'm literally on edge. <laughs> all right. So my good friend, Nick's Crafty Corner. If you don't know who she is, please go check her out. She hasn't posted anything. She moved recently. Well, not recently. She's been gone too long. She needs to come on back to the States. Um, but she's no longer in the States right now. Um she had asked me this question, and I hate when y'all do this, and especially Nix. Like, she's the kind of person that makes stuff happen amongst many of you, and I won't call y'all out just because I don't want you to feel any kind of way, by positive or negative. I just don't want to be like in this person and this person. But she had asked me this question once because I had said I wanted, I, you know, before I go any further, you have ideas of craft supplies, it's therapeutic for the first bit it's not yeah it's therapeutic uh at the end when you see your work but it's not really therapeutic in the process that's the same thing with physical therapy which i don't want to go to today but you know it's okay going through it you hurt like heck at the end you feel relieved once the whole entire session is over not the build-up to go to it each and every time um but she, you know, people will do this. Chris did this to me the other day. She was like, what do you want for your birthday? And I was like, uh, I think I put, um, mm, a erm. I don't know. Like, I really don't know. It's a few things that I want to get, right? But I always feel bad saying, I would like this. So anyway, she was like, what would you like? What is the one of those craft supplies that you want that you haven't gotten or whatever? Because I was complaining about something probably and I was like I really want this particular thing and she was like okay a couple of days later um she sent me a message Samara has done this to me before too um and so has Barry Crafty you know a random number with nothing attached to it or did you get anything in the mail I'm like, no, because I don't check my mail that often. I'm one of, I'm like a reclusive person, if that makes any sense, that uh, does not respect the whole boundaries of reclusion or reclusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, you have done it too. Anyway, you have done it. Craft, Barry Crafty has done it to me. Chris tries to do it, but I won't um, give her information. So what she does, like I have, she'll say, I have something for you. And then it'll be a big bag of stuff. Um, anyway, anyway, she bought me this thing right here. It's a Xyron. Cause I was like, I really need a, I want a Xyron. I have a small, the little X Xyron. So I want to see if I can run this baby through. I don't think I'm able to run this baby through, but we're going to make this one into a sticker. If we can run this baby through. Okay. So I've been using this. I've been enjoying it. I think I need to get one a little bit bigger. Oh, shucks. Yep. And the bad thing about a Xyron is you can't run it backwards. Well, I can't. I've tried. Because one of my letters on that card that I made for three and a third got stuck upside down. And yeah. So we just tore up our beautiful glitter butterfly. Oh, crap. That's okay. So I just need one size. I'll probably get it one size bigger. Anyway, I wanted to see if we can make a butter a sticker. It's too big. That's okay. We have a small one that we, we're going to do. And I want to do, um, can I make these flowers? We'll have to see. Anyway, 
this is going to be really cool um, because I like these, right? Who, me? I swear. When y'all call me out, y'all be calling me out like I have been like a bad person, right? You know you like fussy cutting. You know you like fussy cutting. But when I call y'all out, y'all have like am- amnesia. Amnesia is the name. All right, so we're going to put this to the side. Now we're going to pull out some more white paper. We're going to get our rocker block. Samira, listen. This ink with this stamp, amazing. Amazing. This stamp right here works great. So it works great on a, with acrylic. No, not an issue. Even Heather slid in. I'm, I'm not. So, you know... I'm not I'm not very good at mailing stuff off. Y'all know that on, on time. But I will I have a problem with going to the post office lately, more so than anything else. Um, but I have to get I have to get there at some point um and get rid of stuff. And I've been trying to tell myself it's nothing wrong with going to the post office. You need to go to the post office. So anyway, you know I like to go shopping or I like to go looking at everything. I don't necessarily have to buy everything, but I like to go look right and i did something for heather and um heather was out of town so when she got it you know she probably like okay she she sends me stuff back yeah i swear y'all and y'all sneakiness and y'all got nerd to talk about me that's all i'm gonna say like you know they say birds of a feather flock together that's all I'm going to say. Now, this one right here, we have to use VersaFine ink because they use, this is a photopolymer stamp, I believe. Don't see. Yeah, photopolymer. So we have to check this out. I still have my Easter cards here in an envelope. Someone needs to go out and <laughs> listen. I didn't even, I wanted to work on Easter. Pr Never mind. You know, sometimes when you have great intentions, bad things happen to your mental uh, process. And yeah, I hate photopolymer, y'all. I hate it. I don't know how it's going to work out for me. We're going to see. We're going to put it right here. Now, so would I recommend buying these two markers for a dollar and a quarter plus tax? And I bought three packs without even trying them. Because I was like, if they suck, I can just give them to the little roommate, right? And he can ride all over my walls and get his behind taken care of. Um, I would say, yeah. Because these are cheaper than buying a thing of pink fingernail polish and painting. Whatever it is with fingernail polish. So yes, it's a, is it worth it? Mm. I don't know. If you can find a better quality marker for cheaper, then no, it's not worth it. But if you are on a pinch and you have a few bucks and you're going to the Dollar Tree, definitely worth it. Definitely. Would I recommend buying them again? Probably so, because I want to see if they have other colors. And now that I know all I need is my finger to help out. Yeah, we good. All right. So we're trying not to rock a block. Did you like the orange? You like the orange. Yeah. Yeah. So with the rocker block, you just rock once and you're done. This is a photopolymer stamp though. Probably shouldn't use the photo probably shouldn't use this. Probably should use the stamping platform, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. Woo hoo hoo hoo! I messed up right there. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I was telling Heather that when I was telling y'all, pull it on the phone, I actually have a rocker block and I should have been showing y'all. Um, I wanted to show it to you so you could actually see it like in 
you know, in person and see how it works. Besides me showing it on the phone. I had never used it before because I was like, oh, it's so big and bulky. It takes up a lot of space, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But listen, Linda, this thing is good. And if you have a, a uh, 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 what is that word? I have one. I can't think of the name. Um, scan and cut. Perfect image to scan and cut. Perfect image to scan and cut. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make uh, up and down because we're going to put... You know what? Hmm, I'm nervous now. Let's just go ahead and take a walk on the wild side real quick. I hate taking walks on the wild side. It it did. I'm I'm shocked. I'm shook. I'm shaking in my pajamas right now. In my craft work uniform. I'm shaking. <laughs> Let's see if this is gonna work for us. Cause now you know I, I didn't got a little bit arrogant, a little bit too cocky. <gasps> Look. I feel like we don't need anything else. Which I think like this would be a good card. Let's go ahead and put a a piece this way though. Okay. I think this is a good card. Do you think so where which is words? What are they? How do they come out of your mouth? How do you make them sound like a normal person? Apparently I don't know. Hmm. I want to make some cards, right? So that's the purpose. That's the goal hopefully is to make um listen listen here i want to talk to y'all real quick okay i want to tell you all thank you so very very much for your love and support i appreciate it so much um you know sometimes life will whoop our butt and we have our craft friends here to help out. I knew that was going to happen because I was worried about this, but that's okay. Um, you know, help take you, pick you up when you feel like you're down. And I really appreciate y'all. Um, so I want to say thank you for all your support, all the jokes, the everything. It means a lot to me. Um I'm going to go ahead and trace this. That's not right. You know, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for everything that you all do to and for me. The two, I mean, you know, we could uh, <laughs> look. Nicholas Cafu just arrived. I was shaking in my bones, in my boots, because he hadn't had um, his Cafu delivered. I was like, oh, we're down to the last couple of couple of marcels, Nicholas. And of course, this dude is like, meow, meow, meow. I love this. This stamp is cute, too. Like, let's not negate that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, and we're going to use this pink one let's see how this pink is going to look on here might as well go ahead and get my fingers all the way messy right and i'm thinking i'm gonna put this guy right here like that no not his antenna all messed up You know what? I think we did the butterfly card last time, didn't we? What do y'all think? Is this not is this not good enough? Maybe like this. But we're gonna put this pink because it's glittery, glittery, and then we have some font we can put. Thanks a bunch, like right here. Right, a small little thank you to say a big 
Thank you is such a small word, but it has so much weight, right? So much weight. We're not going to color all of them. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Tap, 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 tap. I feel like this is more of a um, glitter pot than anything. Else. I like it. But what do I know? A lot. You're amazing. What do you mean? What do you know? This would be cute if we cut it out and put it on another piece and layered it up. Really? I still want to do these Easter projects. I went to the store and bought a bunch of Easter crap and we're going to do it. All right. But I promise you, I have something in the works. I just need to go online and find all the things that I need to do. And then we'll do it together. All right. Let's see how this is going to look. I have to be a little bit more careful because this is not a cutout. I bet that yellow would look good. Ooh. I like this like this. What do you think? Like not all the way colored out. I think I bought those pins, but I had no idea where they are now. Listen, I just bought them. That's the only reason why I knew they were. They were in the bag. I'm not sure if you... Um, I know you said that the Tuesday morning value closed, but I think you said it was another one. If you decide to go there and you have room, they do have these shelves. Um, I don't know if they still have them. But they're like twelve dollars, eight dollars. They, I feel like that's a good price for the shelf, the shelving unit, and I put my markers in it. Like all my markers and stuff, I don't have um, all of them in there because I miss my actual craft desk, and I'm I've been considering just going back. But this is a much easier setup to record from in my cell phone and it's so strange I I kind of stopped crafting once my aunt um, passed and then I was like no she would not want you to do that because she'd be like where my video at and I went back to doing that but it's still I don't know I feel less ex less by myself when I'm out in the open all right, so let's see. Let's dip our finger in this water. Get rid of this glitter. Ugh. So I just want to go on the record and say I love how glitter looks. I just don't like to use it. Okay, I don't like glitter because I have we have history together. Glitter messed my eye up, <laughs> and I don't like it for that reason. What do y'all think? Do we need to use this green to make these pop? I think we need to went to Tuesday morning last week about nothing. Um, did you go into the other section or did you just go into that one spot? Do, 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 do. I'm doing a telecast. Send out SOS signals. Someone send some craft fairies my way. I need someone to clean up this mess before I go lay down. Craft fairies. <laughs> Apparently, I don't qualify for a craft fairy. Oh, listen. Have a good day, Sherry. I have to take my son to the doctor. Oh, I hope that everything works out. Thank you so much, Sherry, um, for the information and for the well wishes. I appreciate it so very much. 
went to Tuesday morning, walked the whole store. Um, the whole store. But you don't, I feel like you go to the store with the mindset of I'm not buying nothing. Make me and see what happens. Right. Like, I feel like that's your mindset. Like, you're not one of those people that's looking to buy something. You're just like, I didn't see nothing. Nothing caught my eye. I wasn't intrigued by anything. I'm done. Whereas other people go in there with the possibility of buying something. You're like, I'm not buying it. I'm just going to check. I could be wrong. And if I am, you know, please let me know. Like. One time, Chris and I, I was out, and I was like, what are you doing? And I told her where I was, and so we we met up, and we both bought something. See? Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Pinky, how you doing today? Welcome in. We're we're making some messes and having fun. I want to color these. I think we're going to, this is for Heather right here, this orange right here. It's for Heather. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. I feel like this needs to be um, fixed, though. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I know that this is the same one, but I, in my head, I envision that it's a different color when it's closed up. And when it opens, it turns into the other color. Don't judge me. Yeah, that works great. I'm doing good. I like those flowers. They're pretty. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if you're into stamping in real life or not, but they are called um, bunch bunches, floral bunches, and they look like this. Yeah. Now I have a confession to make. I don't have any six by six cards. So oh, we're going to have to make one. <laughs> I'm trying to find a paper pad that would be okay with being abused to make a six by six card thank you see heather samira brandy everybody mm, that hurts so much give me one second please mm. next week we're probably going to be doing um some Jewelry making? Or we're going to start working on our junk journal? One of the two. <sighs> Do y'all think? I think this is a good contrasting color. What do you think? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take and cut this down to truly be six by six. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut this down to be five by five. All right. So let's see. Let's get our big boy out. I really like this one. I know I talk about some of these project products a lot, but this, We Are Memories Keeper right here just makes me happy. It makes me so happy. That's good to know. Thank you, Pink Pink. If that makes any sense, like I enjoy being able to just come over here and get the actual number and be excited about that versus, I think that's six or I think that's a quarter. I don't know. Let me count the numbers. I enjoy that. Okay, now we're just going to make this five by five. Going 
Oh, that's a lot. Let's do five and three fourths. The five and three fourths, yeah. I tried this nonsense the other day, right? Let me tell you what happened. I jacked it up. This is great. Great, 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 great. Great. So what I did was I cut the top off five and three fourths, and then I cut the sides off an eighth of an inch to make it five and three fourths. And now it should fit in here really good. Yeah, so now I'm going to just take my hand. I don't think we need a um, board. Oh, that was a great noise. Let me get get my hand on those. We could have do it for. Oh, Lord. You like that noise? Swoosh. Right. Okay, so we're gonna glue. I love this. I am loving this. Before I get crazy, let me go ahead and um I'm just gonna put thanks a bunch right here. When I first started stamping, let me tell y'all, I was a mess, a hot mess. I used to put this on backwards and stamp. I know people still do it now just because out of rushing, but that was my, like, I was like, why is it not working? I liked stamps and I knew nothing about stamping. I was just like, how do you get all this color on there? Like when I stamp it with one solid color, it doesn't do that. Over time, your girl learned. I learned that, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> I was like, how do they do that? Thanks a bunch. Came out great. Thank you to Versifying Ink for making my life a lot easier. Because you know, I used to cry a lot about photopolymer. And now I cry about fussy cutting. Now look, somebody, me, folded this over and it still didn't fold properly. I always think there's something's wrong with these papers. It's not just me. I feel like sometimes those papers are off a little bit, but it's okay. All right, so let's move this out the way. All right. You probably could get away with using some tape, but since this is such a large surface, I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> Clean noise. <sighs> Swoosh. You know, crafters. I like, cause I think I want to say it's a self sharpening tool. That's why I really, really like it. So it's like the perfect gift for a crafter that needs a cutting tool and they have a surface that allows it. Like the footprint is huge, but other than that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to rub this over on this side. I don't know where my stuff is at, like a bone folder or creasing tool. Besides this, I don't know what I did with them. They're on my desk somewhere. I'm sure of it. On the floor. On the trash. Have y'all ever thrown a craft product away? And you're like, I thought I... Oh, it's in the trash. You have to go get it. I've only done it like twice. All right. Thanks a bunch. It looks okay like this, but you know, we got to be a little bit, you know, extra. 
extra dolly. I want to get another sheet of paper and just put the flower right here, but no, let's not risk it. Let's not push our luck too much, okay? So we got this guy. We're going to do right here like that. I love it. I love it. We actually created a card. We did some stamping and coloring. It makes me happy, happy, happy. Okay. Move this over because we don't want it off the card. Okay. And you know, I like for my butterflies to take flight. What do you think? <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, I am going to wait, but not like you need to tell me. Like, if you think I need to add something, let me know. <laughs> That's what I meant. Not like, tell me it's so amazing. Not that I'll wait, but. Thank you so much. I enjoyed doing that card. Let's go ahead and move on to our, our next little mini project. We we did we did too much coloring today, so we will not be able to work on the other butterfly stuff that I had got. But just know you'll be seeing a lot of wings around here. Oh, you think you need some bling? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I need some bling. Oh, I have gold uh white. Hold on one second. That I don't have to worry about finding and gluing. Oh, I don't. Shoot. Oh, yes, I do. We got some little bitty bling. Some little bling bling. All right. Oh, no. What happened? Some big bling. Look at this. I'm gonna use these little diamonds right here. Bling. I guess I could have used some ribbon too, huh? Dang it. I never think about ribbon to be honest, y'all. I'm like, ribbon? Who is that? What do I need ribbon for. But I need to start using it up because um I don't use it. We're gonna go small now. No, let's keep on with this medium size. This stuff is not sticky enough. Oh, come on, thing. You know, I saw this crafter use their tweezers. I was like, why don't you use your tweezers, you ding ding? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, I talk to myself a lot when I'm crafting. I don't either, and I put near my face to remember. Apparently not working yet. Right, look, look. Right here. Let's try it out. I think because it's just awkward for me to to use. Whereas other people, it's so natural for them. I'm like, hey, I have tweezers. I should be using them. Mm -mm. There we go. Thank you, Heather. That's a slick, that's a slick little card that we used, y'all. We, we did that. I, I, I like it. I'm very proud of all of it, the coloring. And these colors are so odd that they match, I think. This, I would recommend these for real. It'd be better if it was three in the container versus two, though. All right, so now I pulled out all these cards. Like we was going to do 20,000 cards. I don't know what's wrong with y'all friend. She, she crazy. So what's wrong with her? She a little bit on the outside. Alrighty. So we got these little markers. Let's go ahead and put these in the spot. What is this thing? A six storage. I'm going to look this up real quick. Solution storage solutions. I think that's what it was called. Sonic got a deal today. They keep sending me stuff. Sonic, y'all don't have enough. Um, What's the face though? Um, None pork products. Drawer, shelf, shelf. I 
think it's a kitchen thing. Mm -mm, kitchen. How's your weather besides the snow? This weather here is crazy. I have to find it and send you the picture of it, Samara, because I can't find it right now. And I can't even remember the name of the daggone company. Storage One, maybe? I think it's Storage One. One Storage. Seventy six and rainy, lame. <laughs> yeah, I um. The weather here is a bit on the weird side. So I went to Ross, and I saw this cute little thingamajig. It's ninety nine cents before Easter came. I like seventy six and rainy. Want to trade some my? Well, she is in Florida, so I mean. What is ours? It's cold here today, huh? What is it, 52? I like 52. I don't know. Not the age, but dang on it. I'm getting there. Um, No, thank you. Oh, that's Heather that said that. The snow. I thought that was Chris. Um, you are excellent. Is this a card? Paper quilling kit. Listen, ooh, let's not destroy our only completed project ma'am i don't buy the kits for what they actually have in them to make what they have i buy the kits to get the other stuff out they got this little glue which is great right so it tells you everything that it comes with uh, a quilling art board mm. 36 paper strips seven gems one quilling tool one bio glue and one sheet let's do this let's look at this no thank you heather she likes her weather. Samara is one of those people that um, I've never heard say any bad thing about Florida. She loves it where she is. It's an amazing place with a bunch of bad driving fools like San Antonio. Where I live, the driving is horrible. Okay. I'm not going to even pretend like we have great driving people here. So we don't. All right. So this, I'm not a big quiller, but I am, right? This is a good deal. Even for this little glue for a dollar, y'all. That's what I got it for, the stuff. Um, it requires some scissors. So it gives us our instructions. We're not going to do this because I don't want to make a... I feel like this is going to be a long process of me reading. But look, it tells you what to do and you just squeeze it. Okay, so we just move on to the next project. That was a quick project, wasn't it? What is there bad to say about Florida? Where do you want me to start? The government? Huh? Your governor? Your senator? What's that man's name? You know who I'm talking about. Alligators and snakes, swamp, Florida man. I mean, it's a lot. I mean, the thing is, Florida's a big state. So any place you have a large amount of people, a lot of crazy bad stuff will happen. But, <laughs> I, I, I mean... The government alone is enough. We're not gonna we're not gonna go on because my government where I live is hmm. what do you think about them getting rid of TikTok, y'all? Are you yay or nay it? I'm not pro or against anything really. Like I I think I just look at things from a quote unquote practical mindset and if it makes sense it makes sense like from what I've seen when people do research on um Florida is definitely not where it's at if you have anybody that 
See, never mind. <coughs> Thinks that Florida's the best thing they might be, you know, being on the mm, well side. Oh, they might be a bit on the cray cray side. I got cray cray friends. That's okay. My friends are crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and work on this book before I don't have any more friends for talking about Florida. Because Florida, you know, is interesting. We should finish coloring this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to color this. We're going to color this with some real colors. I think we're going to go with yellows. Yeah, let's do some yellows. I'm just going to keep on working. Don't care either way. They'll just start something new. All right. I have no care about TT. Like how in the same law they want to pass to ban TikTok, they want to make... Listen. Well, give me one second, please. I think if I were to attempt to understand them, which I'm not going to ever try, I think they think they're protecting the people because TikTok, not the app itself, but the data analytics behind TikTok is dangerous, very dangerous. Um, they don't just get information about one thing and use it to give you more on the things that you like to see. They um, are using that to gather information about you from what, I've read and it wasn't like a government site or anything it was a video that someone had posted about how TikTok originally started off in one place and then it changed and I think it's banned in other countries already so it's not like America's doing anything revolutionary I know at first they were saying that um, the former president was trying to get it banned because people's talking bad about him but it's not some of the stuff is bad on there um just like um so we're gonna do this way no we're gonna do this way just like someone had said something about kids youtube so we did two rocks on that one still messed up right here <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me Somehow on one of the kids YouTube, something got snuck past and it was very inappropriate, whatever it was. Um, I didn't read the article because I don't let my kid watch kids YouTube. We just let him watch the unadulterated, unadulterated real deal. No, he'll sneak on YouTube. And that's the thing I don't like about the kid, not kids YouTube, but YouTube kid stuff. Um, one time it was somebody doing Thomas the Train stuff and they took the train and put it in a bowl of cereal outside. I don't know what information they're going to get from me off of TT except bread and cinnamon roll. Listen. Mm, well, <clears throat> listen. I don't know. I'm not a TikToker, darling. I need three more colors, please. So if you, if you all want to give me three more colors, that'd be great. I watch TikTok when people send me clips and stuff or videos. And I don't see anything wrong with it. But it is, I'll send you the, the if you want me to, I'll send y'all a link on some of the info. They're gathering data on how it used to work before. Um, orange. Okay, Heather must like. Is that your color, Heather? You like a good orange, ma'am. I'm not anti-orange. It's just not my ting. I'm gonna get an orange going real quick. So is Facebook and Instagram. I don't have Instagram. And Facebook, I'm considering getting rid of it. The problem with Facebook is I can't, unfortunately. I can't communicate with some of my friends because that's all they have is Facebook. So, and in a different country. So, this is a bold green. Why did I pull green out? I'll fix it. I'm supposed to be coloring these leaves, these limbs green. 
Not really. I'm in love with earth tones, especially green. Oh, pink. Oh, my goodness. We have a celebrity in the house. Hi, Don. I was just thinking about you the other day. I should have wrote you behind, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't want this to be green, though. I want it to be a bright color. Pink. We're going to pull out this orange and pink right now. I hope you're doing well, Don. I was talking about you in a stream that I did too. Pink and orange. Let's get these pinks and oranges out. I always talk about you in the stream. Hello, you've been in my mind. Oh, so have you. I was thinking about work. I have to text you. I have to text you. I'll just have to tell you, like, all the stuff. And then I was thinking about one of our collab. I always talk about you when I pull out. You know what? Do I have this project in my close by? No. But I did a. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. So I think it was last week. Was it last week we did this, girl? Or was it two weeks ago? We did this. Oh, and look, I found something. Yay. But looking. Awesome. Um, anyway, we did this last week, a week before last, and this is sticking up. And I was like, as Don H. Create says, to make your stuff last longer, cut in half. <laughs> and so I always say that when you know, because that's what anyway, yeah. So needless to say, like I said, y'all was on my mind. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but you remember we was we did a collaboration or something. I, I don't remember. And you were showing, I think it was tags. You had did that and you had pulled out a dolly and you said that. Or maybe you had left me a comment. Girl, just cut that thing in half. Something like that. One of the two. It could have been both of them. Knowing you. Anyway, how are you doing? Hopefully well. Um, if not well, I hope you're on the road to recovery. I myself... I'm not doing the best, but I'm working through it. We're going we're gonna to be okay. We're going to be okay. So I got pink and orange. Anyone else got another color they want to try and see out here? Pink, orange, and I pulled out a yellow. So what I'm thinking I can do is fussy cut this out. No, scanning cut this out. I'm going to color with y'all and then we'll be done. Uh, you did. I promise you. Because I always say it. I'm like, Don H said. I Don H created says this. Um, and then I'm going to layer these pieces up on another card. So we're going to do another card. Not today, though. Maybe it'll be a video card or something like that. Look, we was talking about Florida and Don shows up. <laughs> I have a lot of Floridian friends. Purple. Okay. Is Amethyst okay, Chris? Just got yellow. Orange. I don't know if this pink is going to be okay. Let me see. No, this is not going to be okay. That's not even pink. Oh, my goodness. Did I pull out the wrong color? Maybe. Rough patch one day time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I understand that. Uh, I, I think at least I know I can relate to that. That is not going to work either. We need pink. We need pink. Do I not have a pink? Pinky, I'm going to need you to come over here and um, color. <laughs> Rub on the... Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to sound inappropriate. All right. There we go. So we got orange, pink, purple. Let's put these up. Orange, pink, purple. I think this orange can overpower this green. So let's try that. Yep. I was thinking about doing some hibiscus stuff. I was looking at a Stamps of Life stamp that I have that I had got in a D stash, I believe. I was like, do I really? Because I really want to stamp it out, color it. No, I want to stamp it out, scan and cut 
a bunch of them out and color them and layer them up because I think hibiscus looks really nice layered up versus um, one or two. But we'll see, like, even with these, like, we could take this and cut it out and then fussy cut another one and put it on top to give it some dimension. I probably will do that. We'll have to see. I do want to try to make these some, some small little cards, though. I think we can probably do three by four. Let's see. So roughly three and a quarter. Yeah, so a three by four card would be really pretty. And these could be like some small little, you know, like thank you um, cards or just because cards. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I think doesn't orange and green make brown? Hmm. All right, pink. All these colors could have probably all been the same. It's a bunch of flowers, right? On one vein, one vine. I made, um, was it yesterday? Yesterday. One dream of five 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 said her dogs approve of my voice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It was cute, funny and cute, right? Uh, I'm working and listening. Oh, thank you. Great size and pretty for cars to have on hand. Yes, because you know I'm I'm not good at mailing stuff out. That's my problem. That's really the problem. I'm gonna get better though. I keep saying that. I just need to carpet them and seize it and just get to it. This purple is too deep, we'll, too dark. We'll change it um, on the next one. Working and listening. Thank you. Yeah, that's crazy we're gonna have to try to I have a black marker I can fix that I can fix it I can fix it I could find my gel pens that I apparently moved here they go get this purple out purple pink yep I fix it now Let's see yes there we go That look good. I think. Yeah, that's good. All right. I like these are lily pads because they like kind of squish and flat. Go back yellow. It's a weird flower. I don't even want to know what kind of flower that would be. Did I just cut this paper in half? Oh Lord, not my mind. Essentially what I would do is probably cut, I would, yeah, I ain't even waste time. I will probably cut this off. All these below. I'm just, oh my goodness. For you, Samira, Heather, and Chris. For you and you only. I don't even say nothing. I'm just going to do it.
Yep. Anybody watching any good TV shows right now? Like, are you into any, like, non-cable network shows? Or is it cable network or streaming network? I am not. I don't watch television like that. So, um... I'm not into TV like that, I guess is a better way to say it. I do watch a lot of YouTube videos or video game stuff, but I'm not in the television shows anymore. I used to be at one point before my son. And then I guess he was probably once he started being able to observe the television and catch images of what they are, I stopped watching TV. And now I, I've watched TV, but they're cartoon characters. We are watching Barry on HBO. I watch my stuff on Hulu. What stuff though, Chris? And what's, what is Barry? You know that I'm watching House, so I'll be quiet because I'm insane about this series. Yeah, House was a very good series up until certain things. I'll tell you what series I, I loved. I used to watch um, CSI, the first one, Vegas. With Warwick Brown, ooh, 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 talk about a sexy man. Mm, 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 mm. Um, and um, what is his name? John Eat. I stopped watching it once they kill Warwick. Well, mm, spoiler, someone dies. I stopped watching it because someone dies. And um, I didn't like Sarah much. I just, she probably has a lot of trauma. And they made her portray her role like she was still carrying all that trauma. But she was just so annoying. And then they got married. Ugh. Um, and Catherine. Like, they all had issues. Like, Catherine was a... Uh, I don't know. But she had issues, too, from her daddy being who he was. And, you know, all that nonsense. So, um, yeah, CSI. I used to watch CSI. I used to watch NCSI. NCSI. Navy criminal NCI S NCSI the Navy one um, with uh, Gibbs Jethro Gibbs and Abby and them I started watching that once they started killing all the people off um, I like when Ziva was there and McGee I don't know who's on there now I don't even know if they still have it on or not but I stopped watching that and then I um. I like Law and Order Criminal Intent. Uh, let's see. I've been watching Major Crimes and Closer. I like the Closer. The old, the one with Sarah Hedwig. Yeah, I like that one. Glad they have been re-airing those. Yeah, we also seem to have NCIS, NCIS on. I like FBI too. I haven't watched FBI one. Oh, you mean the one with um, LL Cool J? I watched 911, 911, Lone Star, A Million Little Things, Criminal Minds, Next Level Chef, Criminal Minds is on season break so i used to watch criminal minds but the criminals were criminaling <laughs> it was too much for me i had to stop i was like how can one so my thing is i'm i think a lot of people are but i am an overthinker big time and i was like how can these people be so cool like what is wrong with these people all right so we're gonna take some paper and we'll cut this down really quickly Sometimes I say the card's going to be three by four. I forgot that quick. This is when I need Heather to make some card bases. Like if we were crafting together, but Heather, you, can I get some card bases? She'd probably say no and not beg, but you know, three. Also, I like to watch those series called Cold, Cold Case. Yeah, watch Cold Case. You know a show which is a guilty pleasure. I don't watch it anymore because it's like a thousand years old. Um, Unsolved Mysteries. Love that. Love that. I used to like, and they stopped airing it. I think it went off there. Plain Sight. About the lady and the guy who um, were... Um, FBI agents and they would have people in plain sight. Good morning, Chocolate City Sim. How you doing today? Hopefully well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make this go half. 
Oh, I also like to watch. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four and a quarter. Hello. Oh, y'all want to stick together, huh? I said come apart. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Okay. Yes, great. What's this? Trash. Okay. So I'm gonna take this. Where's the ink? Where's the beef? And some issues is on Netflix. I watch some apps. It is a good series. The problem is it's so freaking old. Like I remember Unsolved Mysteries when it first started airing. And I'm like, this is old. Like, you know, most time when you're an older person, you don't be like, oh, this is so old. You're like, oh, nostalgia. I'm like, when are they going to make some new new ones? But I'm going to tell you a series that I like to watch when I can watch it. It's this um, series called Night at the Museum, I think it's called. I have to pull it up. It's where they show you all these little random mysteries about certain articles of clothing and they give you like a, a little story the guy i don't think he does that anymore now he's on like some other stuff he did a thing where he went to find some stuff about genghis khan i'm gonna look that one up because i like that series i also like the incredible mr poe i used to want to be a veterinarian when i was crazy um like i want to be a school teacher when i was crazy until covid and my son came along that did not work out well for me did it nope both covid teaching son and this step image didn't work out. Um, which part? A friend was telling me that John Walsh's son does an American. Yeah, he took over for him. I think they still do it together. But, I mean, John Walsh is getting up there, right? He getting up there. Yeah. Yeah, I always want to be a school. I, okay, so full disclosure. Full disclosure. Um, I don't think that worked out for me either. Oh yeah, it did. Nice. It's real thick. Thick, thick, thick. Um. Give me one second to think. <laughs> One second. Um, what's I gonna say? Words, 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 words. Thick. What in the world? Good thing that you dodged a teaching career. Well, the problem is my hat goes off to anyone that can educate someone. This is what I was gonna say. My um, when I. I taught a card making class, right? A card making class. And the people in the class were very, a lot, a lot. When I say they were a lot, they were a lot. And I was like, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. Today is the 11th. Never mind. So, um, I couldn't deal with just this one lady was throwing stuff. I was like, you're in my head. I'm like, you're a grown woman. Why are you throwing this? Like, what is wrong with you, ma'am? And I, I just couldn't deal with it after that. So I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think we're going to make it like this. It could be a flip up card. Yeah. Flip up cards. So we're going to put hello friend right here. Hello. We're just going to put hello. Like Elsa says on Disney dream. Like that. Hello. Oh, breathy. Um, so yeah, I, I I did that, and then I was like, yeah, you know, um, with COVID, my son was entering into pre-K, and um, I was like, we could do this. Log on the computer, eight o'clock, I think it was. Was what? 
interesting about what me wanting to be a teacher or the people wait which one which one is the tough crowd the lady I, listen the lady was throwing stuff i couldn't she's like i can't do it i was like okay you know me trying to put on my chuck city sim high escalation voice it's okay come down you you got it you can do it See, there you go. You got it. Good job. Like, I'm not about stroking an adult's ego. Uh, you can't imagine me as a teacher. I am great. Hello? I am great, Chris. Don't come for me, okay? Thank you. Um, yeah, they, they, the thing is, they paid me money to put them in. I taught them the impossible card. How to make the impossible card. And, um, they I the girl was throwing stuff and you know she's like I messed up can I I was like you can always start over blah 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 it was like a back to school something because I think I did it in August and September the class we're gonna just put hello right here hello hello yes and um hello um girl self-preservation listen I was like, this is crazy. But I realized something because I go, I, I haven't taken any classes from there, but I realized that those ladies are like that. Like one lady always messes up and she's like, can I get another one? And one of the teach, one of the people's like, I'm selling this paper. I'm not doing it over and over and over again. You know, since I was a kid, I always dreamed about being a philosophy teacher. I ain't got going to do that. Listen. I'm going to tell you what kind of person is a teacher, a special kind of person. A special kind of person will put up with your bull crap and pretend like they're happy that you got bull crap. The teachers at the school that my son go to, they got to put up with our kids and then us. And some of the parents are dumb. I'm just going to go ahead. You probably could have, if you are a parent, you could have been a dumb parent at the time. I know I've been a dumb parent at the time. But these parents, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, I, without disclosing too much information, the coach sent a message and said, hi, this is our month to go out for PT. For um, Did she say PT? Or gym class. You know what the parent wrote back? What are they going to be doing outside? Like, why do they have to go outside and do gym? Hello? Because gym is normally outside. What are you talking about? It's called recess. But in gym class, I would be arrested for being beating people up. If I was a teacher, not going to lie, joke for legal reasons in case I do, Lord have mercy. I just think that the people, society is, I'm like, the kids got to go outside. They need to exercise. Let them burn that energy off before they bring their crap home. What are they going to do outside? Why do they have to go outside? Uh... That's usually how gym works. They play kickball. They run around. They play baseball. The teachers are teaching them these body mechanics that we're not going to be doing. Like, I don't want to teach them how to play soccer. Badminton. None of that crap. Volleyball. None of that crap. That's what the teachers are for. <sighs> these parents are out of control is what I'll say. Out of control. Pink. Is it orange? That is orange, and this is pink. You know, it's some people that craft this kind of way all the time, like little tiny stuff, and they make it look so pretty. I can't. I'm not that person. Oh, my favorite was when people complain about one thing, then it happens, and they complain because it was done. You know, um, I told y'all where I live. I live in Texas, San Antonio. And the people that live here in San Antonio, Texas are very interesting people. Very interesting people. Um, I also am an older parent. So a lot of the people that are parents are like in their 20s. For my, my son's age group, because my son is in first grade so have an age you know if you have a kid at 20 21 19 18 whatever you know between 19 to whatever age group so essentially a lot of the people in my son's class their parents are under 30 right and i don't know if the under 30 crowd currently has a different type of mindset than 
the mindset that I had growing up. But I think it's a safe thing to say that people that's under 30 probably grew up with cable, you know, cable, a lot more streaming services as they've aged. They probably didn't start off with it, but as they've aged up, social media was prevalent and things like that. A lot more prevalent as they got to become adults. So I don't use Facebook that often, right? And I don't think that the school should use Facebook that often, but the school does use Facebook as a means of communicating. And they also use all the other social media platforms that they have given us. But when I see comments on the on there about stupid stuff that's common sense, I'm like, it must be an age thing. It has to be an age thing. Or maybe these people are just popping off at the mouth because that's what we do as a society now. We complain. I was like, I cannot do this. Um, I told you I have one teacher, a compliment, and she was in defense mode. I don't agree with reacting to verify attendance. I don't agree with the reactant. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I just think that um <sighs> the world is changing. Damn it. Um shoot. What is this? 17. Why I keep using this color? All right, there we go. Let's just move this out the way. Purple. I don't agree with text into uh, no. Um I don't either. I don't know who these people are. But I think I think that that's how people communicate now. I prefer a phone call over a text message any day. And then I want a follow-up text message to follow up on what we discussed, but I think that's just how I grew up learning things in life. You you write a text message, I mean an email, to cover your behind from whatever was said. Oh, now you want to show out, huh? Because you're on some alcohol ink. You better not. Do what you got to do. Fix that dark purple and be pretty, okay? That's all you got to do. It's just smile and cover up my boo-boo. That's it. Um, yeah, I, I don't... Yeah, it's different. And I don't think, <laughs> without getting too in detail about specific things i don't think the generation currently and the older generation we're not connecting properly um and i think my generation is the reason why this current generation is jacked up because essentially if i had a kid when like i was 2021 20, my kid would be this society of the under 30 people right now, which he still is under 30, but you know what I mean? Like he's not an adult. And I think that is an issue because we probably, I would probably say people 55 and younger, between 55 and 30 are those people that's like, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a change. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this in, in all those little fancy inventions and internet and all this other stuff came about because we didn't have that kind of technology. And now it's a problem because it's so rapid. The uh, information highway is just speeding along. This is an ugly flower. That's what I'm going to resolve to say. The flower is ugly. It's not my fault that it's jacked up. And I'm going to move on. I'm going to call all these other things a light color yellow and not stress about it. Um... When it comes to my kids' attendance, they need to call. If the kid was older, took my phone, they could easily lie and say they would be out, erase the text, and no one would ever. Facts. Big facts. But like you told me over the weekend, if you don't say anything, no one will know. 
Like, I think that's up to that person that received it. Be like, why didn't you call me? And contact the other people. The people at the school ain't the... Bro- Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to blaspheme. Blaspheme. I said it the way I said it on purpose. My uh, my child's educational system. They are wonderful. They are the most amazing set of people out there. And no one can tell me different. No one can tell me otherwise. No one. They are amazing people. They do all the right things all the time. That's ugly. Um, they never drop the ball uh, on anything. They hold you accountable because they hold themselves accountable. It's just an amazing, an amazing adventure partnership with this um, organization. And that's all I got to say about that. Now I'm going too far. <laughs> wow, not chocolate coming in. She's like, listen, I didn't talk to your behind. I know how you really feel. <sighs> Did you laugh though? You laugh, right? So you, I mean, you know, that's what the title says. I believe the title says to make memories and laughs. If you haven't laughed today, then let me know so I can get a few zingers out before, um, dang, we went a long time before we close out. I want to take a three hour nap, not a two hour nap. This is ugly. Oh, I need a pretty pink color or a softer. I need a soft color. It don't have to be pink, but I think pink would have probably pulled it out. Let's try this color. Um, no, to be, you know, to be open. The school has, uh, the school was founded in 2019. They closed down for a year almost for um, COVID. So they don't have they act together like they should have it together. This is even uglier. Oh my gosh, I'm just screwing this all the way up. Hold on, let me think. I guess from all that line I was doing, huh? Um, I think that you know a couple of years. Oh, this is not good. Oh, that's not good. I think in a couple of years they'll get together, get a white pen. You can add some highlights on the stronger colors. Maybe I don't have a white pen at my desk. Oh, you know what? I do have a pink. I do have a pink. Oh, please, pink, come through. Oh, it's not pink. Is it pink? It's tender pink. Ooh, I know what that means. I don't even know where. I don't even want my mind to go where I think it's going. Let's see. Oh, that's not tender. That looked like salmon. Let's see. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. Oh, my goodness. Coming through to say today. Yes. That look okay. I guess I'm going I'm to mess it up. I'm going to put yellow on top of it. So let's put this to the side. John, you been crafting? I'm I'm gonna assume not really because you said you're taking it day by day. Maybe a metallic. Um, I don't have a white one though to drop any spots in it. I no, I don't have a metallic white either. But I I, I got an idea. This is why I was fussy cutting this thing off. But I want to cut these all off and plop them up. Right. Oh, come on. Like that. Pop them up. So what I could do is just go. Let's just do this real quick. Let's see. Yellow. Where'd you go, yellow? Come to me. Come to me. Don't go nowhere. I said come to me, not run away from me. Yes. I just feel, you know what it really is? Let me tell you. No crafting, still do shopping. <laughs> time is ready. I can imagine. I can imagine. The problem is these little pieces are not flowers, right? They're not flowers. They're just fodder. Are they supposed to be leaves? I don't know. And that's messing in my head is messing with me because I feel like these aren't real flowers. So why am I coloring them 
floral colors and they could actually be real flowers but they just don't look good with these open flowers that's my issue but that's okay we're gonna be um we're just gonna move on from it if it don't look good you know what i'll throw it in the trash maybe because one woman's trash is another woman's treasure and i mean that in every sense of that word baby <laughs> I am funny. Ooh, let's get this color going. All right. <laughs> I would like to get back into it. Craft room is undergoing a very slow. Oh, well, you know, I'm always available for our morning chats that we used to have. I miss those. You know, that's what I was doing. I, life first of all life is here right and but I was sitting here thinking I was like I miss Dawn I'm gonna write her because I got a message from another friend I was like oh I miss you too but I try not to bother people that much when it comes to things because you know um I understood your situation prior to you not doing a lot of stuff so I was like okay I understand that and she'll be back when she comes back and then I'll harass her when she get back like you remember when you bought that tool the little hole punch tool I think about all those things because when I use them like oh done said she put getting use out of this one and I remember I had made a comment you probably don't remember um maybe you do I don't know but I had made a comment so I see you working that thing because you had went and got it that little hole punch reinforced thing the fancy one Answer. Yeah, that one. All right. I couldn't be one of those people. Um, oh, yes, I'll harass you. But when I'm going through my own issues, I'm I'm like, I I will talk to you when I get out of them. Um, I couldn't imagine fussy cutting all these. I know I said I wasn't gonna complain and I'm not, but could you imagine someone making like 20 of these cards all by hand? I could not. 20 of these cards by hand. I struggle with 10 of the same card, let alone 20. And then you got to color all of them. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. I think I, I know how we're going to fix this. We're going to bling it out. I'm going to put some bling on it. And I was thinking that I could have just did like a, a small wash of color i may do that on a, a, a few other ones if we ever revisit this exactly yep and then i have a woodware stamp and i always think about you and your um was it the snowman that you had and you had bought it y'all y'all think i'm an enabler <sighs> i ain't got nothing on dawn she's like and it ain't even that she's like does a lot of haul videos but she just shows you her completed projects and she's like, look at what I did. <laughs> oh, don't fall on the floor. No, no, no. Now, these will fit good in our Zyron, y'all. But we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to take this and rub it in my hand. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to rub it in my hand like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Same thing. If you have like a little ball or an actual tool, you can do that as well. But, you know, we just going to use what's on our desk because there's a lot of nonsense on the desk. Okay. This little tulip looking thing is annoying me. You ain't did nothing to me. I just don't like it. All right, let's see. Now, what's this size again? I didn't forgot. I think we're going to take this. Yes. I'm going to take this and measure. I want to say it's three by four 
And these are six by six. So this is not gonna work, but we're gonna make it work. Are we gonna make it work? Nope, what we're gonna do is cut this down a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and glue this on here like that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, glue it. See, every piece has a front and a back, y'all. If you mess up on one side, you can always attempt not to mess up on the other side. And no one will be the wiser unless you tell them, I screwed that card up. It's jacked up. It's messed up on the other side. Mm -hmm. Hello. Gosh. Just turn it over. Burnishing it down some. A little bit more. A little bit more. Y'all ready to see me do... Not today. Y'all ready to see me do some diamond pressing? I don't know. I might end up dropping a lot more uh, adult language than I want to. <laughs> so I'm just eyeballing this. I mean to cut that side down a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to take a actual card and just waste it. So I'm gonna put this thing here. Okay. What is a diamond press? Diamond painting, excuse me, diamond painting. Um it is kind of like Paint by number, but with little dots, diamond dots. They have like little designs and you take a um, little sticky and you put all of them on and you get a picture at the end of the project process. Open that right here. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be doing that. But it'll probably only be a short amount of time and then we'll come back. I don't want to sit there and try to do a whole thing at one time so maybe like i'll do one section for x amount of time because those things i feel like i don't want to talk i just want to kind of um concentrate and vibe out to whatever um video i've been watching like i know a lot of people craft with music i am not that person i just tend to um watch videos or list to other people do random stuff I'm, i don't really listen to music like that when i craft i know a lot of people do but not this lot of people so just gonna burnish this down and now we're gonna go ahead and find all four of our little pieces i've lost one because this is being a turd to me you see it ran away from me y'all it did not want to get glued down um that's a shame you saw me put it on my desk and now it's gone. You sing it yourself. I do sing a lot, Tam. You're right. I'm like, <laughs> sing it too much lately. But I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you later. I had told um, Chris that I was going to start doing some nefarious things. <laughs> She's like, I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just laughed. We just have low eyes. I'll just leave it at that. Oh, gosh. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put that like that. I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do we need to do all four? No, but I mean, why not? That song could be a new hit. Yes. She wants to remake a song. Chris does. And I'm like, oh, Lord. We could do a parody video, but I don't. Uh -uh. No, I'm good. All right, there we go. This little piece go like that. Yep. So we use this flower stamp from Hero Arts in two different ways. Got two different outcomes. And I love both of them. This nonsense on the side is a bit distracting. They should have not done it like that in my opinion. But hey, I can't draw. So maybe they did it for a reason. I feel like they could have just took another one of these types of flowers and filled it in over here. But nefarious, yes. Chris is naughty. That's all I'll say. <laughs> she want to remix songs and stuff. All right, so see how it kind of pops up. You want it to pop up. You don't want it to be like flat. You want it to pop up. But when the glue dries, whatever the pieces are that need to pop up will pop up. That is our second project that we done. We done did. I guess we need some bling too, huh, Heather? Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I wonder if yeah, man. I was gonna say I wonder if that blue would have looked good on there. We're gonna put a big one and two tiny ones, two little dots on there. <laughs> Were you about to say some bling, Heather? Or did I um jump the gun? Let's see. That is that. And then this is this. So this is the second card you all watched us make. And then this is the first one. And I love this card a lot. I don't know. The colors just say, hey, look at me. But like I said, we use these stamps in two different ways and got two different outcomes. Oh, you were going to say that. I figured. I figured. I figured you were going to say that. Let me go ahead and do that before Heather um, get on me. All right. And also, we um, used a rock -a block by Crafters Companion. I'm not sure if you all are familiar with the rock -a block but it works really good. I like it a lot. Not telling you to go buy it, though, at all. Um Anyway, I think we have come to a good stopping point. Yes, yeah, really. I love it. It's so cool. And this is a Crafter's Companion butterfly. Uh, it is called Flutter by Collection. Sarah Davies. I should have seen the ducks, but it's Sarah Davies Butterfly Collection. Botanical Butterfly. Uh, it looks like this. And it has a die. So we had that one. Then we had a larger one, but we didn't use it because, you know, I didn't stamp them out ahead of time. Because I want to show the rock -a block which is this thing right here. And I actually put the stamp on and rocked it out one time. No issues. The only issue we had was one. And that's because I have my mat is bowing. I need a new mat. And it looks like that. I'm glad I I'm glad you caught me as well, Don. I've missed chatting with you so much. Um, and I miss out early morning crafts and you tell me about your cats and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope that you all have a great rest of your Tuesday. I'll see you soon um, on the video. I have a uh, spooky 13 keep it creepy. I think is what it's really called. Keep creepy. Keep it creepy. 
Creep It 13, something like that. Um, thank you, Samara, for being here as always. Heather, Pinky, Don H. Creates, very crafty. Chris, of course, Chocolate City Sim, all of y'all. Creepy 13 is what it's called. You know, I have a, a, a mess it up all the time, Heather. Creepy 13. I'll see you in two days. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'll see you in two days. So I say thank you all for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.